Hello, this is Hiran Desai again. Uh, in the previous video, we talked about uh, uh, just the, how an FCOE topology would look like. In this one, we'll go a little deep into uh, what we call FIP or FIP initialization protocol. So, as you can see, uh, uh, we have a small little diagram here which shows uh, F FCF or the fiber channel forwarder switch. We have a host and we have a targets. This is an Ethernet network. The standard uh, defines a host as what we call e-node. These are just the term which are official term but we can say host or initiator kind of means the same thing. Um, so when whenever you power on, um, uh, whenever you power on or when the link uh, goes online, uh, this host will try to discover uh, this FCF. Um, at the same time, when this FCF comes online, uh, it will try to advertise um, advertise in this network about itself. And this is what we call FCO initialization pro protocol, which many times is referred to as FIP. So some of the frames which are involved. First thing when this host comes up, it will send a VLAN discovery frame. Uh, it will send a VLAN discovery frame on a Ethernet multicast address. The reason it will be multicast is here is simple. This this e node or a host is directly connected to this FCF. But as you can see in this diagram, there is a switch in middle. So by having a multicast address, this switch will just forward it out to all the ports. In, in the response, the uh, FCF will respond saying that. Uh, I have uh, VLAN 1 or 1002 and 1003 configured here. So this is how this host learns about FCOE VLANs. So this will be a VLAN uh, discovery response. Dis discovery response. Uh, so this is the first phase of FIP. Uh, this VLAN discovery is optional, but most of the most of the ENOs or uh, CNAs uh, uh, send a VLAN discovery frame. The second set of frame that the ENode sends is what we call discovery frames. So, discovery frames. Discovery frames or FIP discovery frames. Uh, again, this is a multicast, Ethernet multicast frames that this E node will send. When this FCF receives that frame, um, he will uh, or the FCF will respond with what we call uh, FIP um, discovery advertisement. And this FIP discovery advertisement is actually a unicast frame addressed to this host, saying that hey, I'm here. Same thing will happen here, except that we have this. Uh, middle switch right here, but the the protocol is the same. Once this E node or the host discovers about this FCF, this E node will send the FIP F loggy frame. Um, this FIP F loggy frame. FIP F loggy frame. This f -loggy frame is similar to what we saw in fiber channel network where the devices actually end up sending f -loggy to acquire address uh, for, from, the, from the switch. So when, when this E node sends a fit f -loggy frame, this FCF or the switch will respond with a fit f -loggy accept and that will contain the address of the, uh, that will contain the FC ID of this E node or this host. So this is what we would call FIP processing or the, or the initialization protocol. After that, all the frames which are sent from E node to, the, to, this, devi to this device or to the target are FCOE frames or FCOE end cap frames. So in some ways there is like a two-phase 
are here where we have a FIP initialization to discover each other and the, and the second phase is the actual data phase where once this E node has logged in, it will start sending data. Um, as you can see, this is a host directly connected here. Here it will be the same thing where all these frames will be sent except there is a switch in the middle. Um, so this would, uh, this would be the uh, FIP, uh, FIP discovery uh, in FCOE.